Hey everybody, it's Dima here. So in today's video, we're gonna play on a rogue. Recently, recently, I've been doing a little zero to hero where I ended up getting a giga cheese um, from getting guy that ended up dying to a troll. But um, pretty much in today's video, we're gonna keep doing the process of leveling up the rogue and killing pretty much everyone and everything on the way. So pretty much before we get there, I want to do a little showcase of what this class is um, capable of and what would be the right build for you, uh, what would be the right way for you to build the rogue. So pretty much the rogue has a number of builds. One, it would be a mosquito build and two, that would be a landmine build. So really nothing in between. Um, the idea of playing on the rogue as a duelist with a rapier it's kind of fades away due to the very simple reason as the bard is a better duelist. So instead of doing something that is um, rogue isn't very good at, instead you should focus on the um, positive aspects of this class and um, do something that this class is really great at. And this class is really great at controlling the fight. It's pretty much with the recent um, patch, the, we got our rogue buff. And by the way, we got a rogue buff twice not just once with the recent patch but when we got the vibe previously previously every single class got a 15 additional health including you know every single class so like bars rogues you know fighters rangers everyone got additional health and pretty much um when your original health was like at 80 or something and then you got additional 15 health that just you know benefit this class so freaking much it's ridiculous and currently i would say that the rogue is pretty damn good it's a really good class especially if you play the class the way it is intended to be played so pretty much when you're playing a rogue i will highly encourage you to actually spend some time and writing like yes the playing as a rat is essentially the most you know like the true way of playing a rogue you can try and fight people you can try and you know flex on people and show you know who's got a bigger bulge and dick but uh, in reality, in reality, it all comes to who is a better rat when it comes to playing in a row. So pretty much, yes, there is some psycho crazy people who've been, you know, playing no hide, no fucking, you know, no skills, no perks, some whatever weird stuff running around double looking as a rogue. But um, even though you could play that, this is not the way the rogue is intended to be played in the first place. The way the rogue was intended to be played is by riding people out, getting the advantage, pressuring the, you know, key points. The moment, like, you got a little bit of advantage, you keep pressuring, you gotta use the blue pots, you gotta use throwing knives, you gotta use everything at your disposal, which makes this class really freaking good. Right, now we gotta go to the build. There is two variety of builds you could go for. You could actually three if, in case if you decide to fuck with PDR fighters, but it's never a good idea to fight with the, you know, PDR fighters because there's always better targets that you could fuck with. So pretty much one of the best rogues builds there is, is the currently the one I'm using. Pretty much it's going to give you the combination to get really close to people while being pretty fast in the stealth because of the stealth which is going to give you 10 steps and going to give you additional 3 move speed while you're crouching which is ridiculously a lot. I didn't know this change was a thing, I never fucking see it anywhere. This is a really good change to a rogue. The only downside though is the rogue um, couldn't be seen and I feel like because Previously, like you, the rogue could have been seen, it was kind of weak, but now rogue can be seen in the invis, and which makes the class like really freaking broken in my opinion. So pretty much the um, best combination you could ask for is going to be um, directly, um, you know, the best combination of perks that will directly benefit the dagger is going to be the dagger mastery with the jokester or with the poison weapon, it's up to you. I did a little bit of mess, so pretty much um, poison weapon will do 4 additional, 4 magical damage on each hit um you know over time while jokester will give you two percent action speed um you know will give you two physical power will give you a um, little bit of agility will give you a little bit of everything which kind of you know boosts the rogue in every single aspect even though the two all attribute may not seem like a lot but in reality two all attributes is like kind of more or less of plus two maybe slightly more than two damage that you're gonna get from the stats alone and that's why i consider jokester to be really damn good but for the full pvp purposes like probably the poison weapon would be good especially if you have already way too much stats as for the other perk i'm gonna use the ambush because it just gives you too much like 10 percent move speed bonus and 50 percent physical damage is a lot like no matter how much you look at it 
It's pretty much the ability to get away from people. It's ability to push people. Like it just the ability to run for additional 30 moves speed for three seconds is really slept on. And most of the people may actually not play with it and play with the poison weapon instead, which I would also understand, which is also viable, which is also reasonable. But this is for my personal playstyle. The ambush is really damn good, and I really enjoy playing on the damn rogue with the damn ambush. Like, even though, even though I don't think that the rogue is supposed to be this fucking strong. The rogue is a really strong class right now. It can deal with the warlocks. It can deal with wizards. Pretty much, it can deal with other rogues quite as well. <laughs> well, if you already learned enough, like uh, how to play on this class. But, uh, well, this is not the point. The rogue can deal with barbarians pretty easily. Well, not necessarily pretty easily, but the moment you get a little bit of advantage, the moment you get a guy to half HP from the initial ambush, and even though if you guys lose a little bit of HP in the process, you can pretty much finish the fight in just few throwing knife throws with your hand crossbow, which just puts this class... I, I, I don't want to put this class to be an S tier, but um, I want to put this built slightly below Astir. Currently, the Astir classes is going to be the Cleric, they're going to be the um, Warlock, and going to be um, Cleric, Warlock, and Bard, pretty much. These are the three Astir classes, but uh, Rogue is going to be slightly below that. So, pretty much, yeah. Even though, yeah, I already mentioned a number of times, even though Warlock got, got it out, the Warlock remains still as your class, and I'm talking, I'm not talking about the budget gear, I'm talking about the um, mid to high end gear, pretty much. This is what I'm talking about. All right. So the another perk that I probably I have mentioned, the stealth ability to move while being in with. This is the ability that makes rogue as a rogue. Pretty much, you will be able to shorten the distance, get really close to anyone, and start stabbing that person with your stiletto. Stiletto, by the way, got fixed finally. One year has passed, and finally developers listen to us. Even though I have mentioned this thing million of times i'm pretty sure probably they already known but the stiletto hits was not registered for a while and that's why it wasn't really you know that playable so for example i had a number of fights where out of eight hits only four was registered and i was not the only one um for who that happened like the amount of people who struggled with the stiletto hits wasn't because they are bad but because the stiletto simply didn't want to register hits so, yep, that was the reality. And now the stiletto is back. And now that, um, you know, you're actually invisible while being in with, there is no, like, camo. Um, you're pretty much also pretty fast. You can, like, you also, the stealth got boosted, like, shadow boosted or something, because I have never really personally seen it. Three additional move speed per every step. And you're going to be starting with 30. Well, it's going to go down all the way. But still, you're going to get that initial boost. Of Moosepit, it reminds me of the um, sprint with the recent sprint change. It's like where, you know, you're very fast at first, but then it gradually drops down. Okie dokie. So pretty much for the build, we're gonna run a variety of builds today. We're gonna start with little to nothing in normal. So we're gonna go and level up until we get to the 20. From level 20, we're gonna go into the high roller. And at the high roller, we're pretty much gonna try and grind all of this. As well as I'm going to showcase you and probably gonna leave you timestamps where you would be able to see how you can farm gold on a rogue, because rogue is one of the best classes to farm gold. The uh, troll pelts is basically your best friends, pretty much you get them quite often. I don't know if there is a higher chance for rogue to get a troll pelt, but I've been getting a lot of those, and also I've been getting a lot of cheese playing as a rogue. Rogue is a really good class, and um, I highly, I highly encourage you to actually give this class a shot. Um, right now, rogue is really strong, it's far above barbarian in the tier list and but pretty much as of right now like every class that um i could think of is above barbarian like barbarian probably like you know people would say that you know barbarian isn't um that bad but it is <laughs> barbarian is pretty bad class like because um you know because of kairi meta and because of barbarian is good against uh, when you bring barely anything and you fight people who has barely anything but when it comes when it comes to being geared barbarian falls off and doesn't really stand my chances so yeah okay dokie i think i pretty much mentioned everything the cutthroat and the height is going to be the key aspect probably at first we may start with the rupture and the cutthroat but i'm gonna shift to the height the moment i get leveled up to the max and pretty much 
this build what makes the rogue a rogue and pretty much um with this build you will be able to rock paper and scissors majority of the classes the idea behind the game stance is that um the certain classes uh counters the other classes and the rogue the rogue could counter majority especially if you landmine other than pdr fighters but for pdr fighters you could try and build the weak point which basically it's almost useless it's actually quite useless um like um because it doesn't really remove the physical damage reduction it removes the armor rating bonus which doesn't really reduce it by 40 as may seem like it it's like the physical damage reduction gonna go down by 10 at most 15 maybe in the best case scenario it's all because of the armor rating bonuses so yeah that's why weak point isn't ideal instead you would probably want to go with frost which gives 20 armor pen which is freaking a lot so you could use frost instead of jokester for straight up damage bonus especially if you're going to try and hunt the pdr currently there is one very very strong build and that is combination of a double um daggers rondel with stiletto will give armor pen so your stiletto will end up having 20 armor pen to top it off you will have a 20 percent physical um i mean trust on the trust and you would have additional 40 on the weak point which you know if you sum it up probably gonna be um well just from base on numbers it's gonna be 80 but reality it's gonna be like you know 50 to 60 but you don't understand how much 50 and 60 is especially if you ended up getting something like this so if you get something like this you will have so much freaking damage that oh my goodness pretty much that's just gonna be a full you know damage full sand build on a rogue that is very fucking terrifying so yeah but i don't i don't really like to fully commit to a fight like remember i already mentioned before the people who fully commit to a fight they will likely out win you know out leave me in the fight and likely win but um my playstyle will work pretty well in cases of uh, where you know you would have to um, uh, have a prolonged fight you know in the prolonged fights my builds and my playstyle thrives pretty well in the in instant fan you know fights yeah i lose quite often but that just because the way I figured to play, maybe that just like the way I learned to play or something. But that is what it is. And this is what we have for now. Pretty much we're also going to use the hand crossbow, which a bunch of throwing knives. We're going to use uh, bolts. Well, I mean, just got to have those. I usually tend to forget bolts. So yeah, don't forget to those. As for the build, this is going to be the combination of gear that I will highly encourage you. You got to aim for action speed. Action speed is the king. The, the faster you get to land the three hits, the faster you will be able to get away from that person, which is really good. Dexterity is on a rogue is the absolute king, and you want to aim for as much dexterity, action speed, and agility. True physical damage is important, additional physical damage is important, but let's say if you have a low action speed, basically from my personal opinion, um, when you have a low action speed but you have a lot of damage, the high, high action speed will likely to win because you will be able to land those three steps faster. And even if you don't have any additional or true damage at all, like the person who lands the first three hits faster will likely to win the fight, especially when it comes to fighting other rogues. That comes from the hard experience that I was getting. And basically, even though I'm the guy who loves to play with the budget gear all the time and who doesn't want to rely too much on really good gear, like I figured one thing, high action is the king and pretty much you want to stack those. Basically one last thing I want to talk about and that is move speed. Rogue is the king of a move speed. You want to have at least good pair of boots which you can find with um, you know for around four to five hundred gold. This pair of boots I bought for 450 this morning. The price fluctuates, it goes from like 400 to 700. Usually, usually the price, you know, the light foot boots is going to be one of the best investments you can ask for on a rope. And pretty much I just want to conclude and summarize um, everything. The rope is a really good class. You should give it a try. It's a um, pretty high skill class and the class offers a lot of fighting potential. Even though you have a quite decent chunk of health with the recent change which well, which came with the vibe. Um, the rope still dies in a couple of hits especially if you get accidentally headshotted. So you do gotta, you know, have a firm um, grip and like control the fight. Don't like let your ego win and um, try and, you know, um, control the fight from the start to the end by, you know, using everything you have at your advantage. Don't overrush 
And even though if you feel like you have too much advantage, too much advantage is never too much and you may end up dying. So you do need to be cautious when playing this class. But overall, this class is beautiful. This class is one of the best um, landmine potential, which is like the moment you walk across the rope with decent gear, you just, there is no counterplay. You just simply die. And if you, if you ended up hitting the rope a couple of times back, the first hit came from the rogue and that hit may have ended up hitting you right in the face which probably would lead to dying. Anyway, anyway, I hope I conclude both the video idea, the build and a little guide in one segment. Anyway, we're gonna go into the game and we're gonna try and clap some cheeks. Hello everybody, we are in, okay. So pretty much right now we're level 8 rogue and we are gonna try and level this class out. There's one little tick that I know about the leveling class is you gotta pick up those green items and that's basically it. The sooner the better. My regular interaction speed is 61%. Pretty good. Alright, looks like we have a first target for today's video. <laughs> Warlock. Keep in mind, I'm a naked guy, I'm level 8 so... Very much we're here fighting on a fair ground, more or less. We did find the Rondel down, which is pretty good. We try and make a land ahead. I genuinely don't know where the fucking arrow went. It went through the fucking third dimension or something. <laughs> like just just didn't just didn't work. Sheesh. Alright, we're gonna shoot him a couple of times with his hand crossbow. That's the play. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. It comes with practice. I don't have much practice on the rogue. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised there was not a headshot. But here we go. We got our first kill. Interesting. Another warlock. I'm not surprised how many warlocks there is in the game. Into the fact that they got slightly nerfed. Oops. Okay. They did hurt a little. Okay. Bro, like where? Where did the fucking... Where did it go? <laughs> like... Are you serious? That fucking knife disappeared. Sheesh. We're not getting a break tonight. We have another guy right here. Who, like literally an army of mobs chasing me. Oh, here we go. Ow, that fucking sucks, dick. I hit him. Somehow. I thought I missed. Apparently I didn't. Wow, that's actually kind of weird. Lucky to me, the rub tracker just came in handy. I just gotta not die to mobs. Early leveling on the rogue kind of sucked. But, um... Listen. It's part of the process. Something that you would have to overcome. That's gonna be... Ha oh! Holy hell. Five hells, two decks. Oh, I like this one. I like this piece a lot. 3 agility, 2 dexterity. Hmm, 2 agility, 2, de two dexterity. I like this piece though, I like this piece. Alright, so we just killed the troll. Um. <laughs> That's kind of comfortable though. Seems like a very comfortable position. Alright, so after playing the first game, this is what we ended up getting. We actually got a bunch of cheese and additional stuff that could be used in the future. Some of this stuff is just um, going straight to the market, but uh, still. Some of this stuff is actually going to be quite useful, like pair of gloves. Like a little additional budget set is probably something that you want to stockpile on. On the Rogue, no matter what you do, is going to put you at risk of dying, so you want to make sure you have a couple of uh, budget um, Rogue sets that you could use at any given point. Pretty much it's actually quite easy to do, consider how much gold you can make in just single raid. There is one thing that I really like to do, especially if uh, you need to make some extra amount of cheese, is by going into the um, ice mountain and uh, farming wolves. It's actually super easy and convenient, just takes a little bit of time and effort and maybe a little bit of practice, but uh, consider the amount of effort that you would have to spend doing this strategy, it's pretty much bits any other strategy out there it's like basically 
if you want to make gold but you don't want to go and mine copper ore, you can go into the, um, you know, like the frost caverns or like frost mountains, whatever the fuck it's called, and just farm wolves. It's gonna take you five minutes at most to go for both spots and then you can just simply extract on the um, shaft. The extract gonna spawn each and every three minutes, I believe, so... There is going to be one at 9, there's going to be another one at 6, and um, the last one at 3, I believe. So yeah, this strategy is quite convenient. I did it on the Barbarian. The total um, time it took me was 5 minutes per game, and it was actually, um, you know, pretty good time investment, especially if you want to make some gold. Guy who's slaughtering the whole lobby with the Phalanx. Axe. Everything's cleared out here. Oh, we have a bar here. There's also a very geared cleric, but not a very fast one. I'd like to fight that guy as well. Okay. Oops. Almost got clapped a little. But I'm a lot faster. Like, I don't really have much to worry about. Why am I doing this to myself? I could simply kill him with the fucking crossbow. No, no, I do want to... Phew, holy fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, bro. You completely forgot you're still fucking level 9. You haven't progressed. The last game that I played in Goblin Caves didn't count toward the XP and unfortunately my XP remained the same. Because, well, when you lag out on extract, you aren't getting shit. I could have killed the guy very easily with a hand crossbow, but I just want to flex a little bit and try and fight him in a close fight, which is a... Uh, you know, which is a risky move, and it's absolutely not worth doing it. So if you're just starting out on the rope, don't fucking do this bullshit. Use your hand crossbow up until very, very end point. But there's one thing, though, if I wouldn't fight him in the melee, that would be a weak-ass move. <laughs> If you're a real strong man, you gotta go and fight everyone in melee. That's the true way of dark and darker, even though you may end up getting cocked by literally one punch. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, holy hell, look who we have here. The geared cleric. Oh, this guy is like 5,000 gold. Okay, let's fucking work him out. Let's um, use every single throw and knife we have. Okay, that did hurt a little, I feel like. <laughs> Okay, well, he doesn't bother trying to dodge, I would assume I either don't do any damage at all to him. Alright, he's gonna be full HP as of right now, so... Oh, he got his toes. <laughs> he lost them toes a little. Okay. Seems like he feels quite confident in this fight. Oh shit, look at this guy, let's use him. Bomb. That I want to stab him one time. You know, just for little memes. Okay. He could have tried to bonk me, but he didn't. A simple bonk would actually get the job done. Bro, he's like... <laughs> um, he on them toes, but... Uh, yeah, I'm fast enough, brother. That's why I gotta build... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This is the extract. Can't let him get out. No, 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 no. Phew, bro. I thought he would be able to get out. Holy hell, the guy almost pushed me in. Yo, that ain't right. Alright, let's kill this guy really quick. Stop, 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 stop. Couple body shots. Okay, let's walk away slightly. That doesn't fucking make any sense. Quite easy to kill him. Just, uh, just stop. Yeah. Continue to stop. It will die on its own. The strategy is simple as is. Let's check what the guy has, by the way. Oh, we got some cheese here. We got some cheese. That's a good neck, by the way. Yeah, I'm probably gonna keep the cheese. I'm gonna try and sell it. Maybe and try something for my rogue. Damn, yeah. This guy is kind of juicing. Alright, so this is what we got. 
got quite a decent chunk of cheese, by the way. I'm not gonna sell everything right now, but um, I can't even sell, by the way. <laughs> but it's actually not a bad idea to keep track of all the trophies that we're gonna get in today's video. So it's gonna be easier for both you and me. There's one build in particular which I wouldn't necessarily recommend anyone to play with, but this is um, the Cutthroat plus Rupture. The more or less of a duelist build. Pretty much, if you want to play on a duelist, Bard is just always going to be a better duelist. But it doesn't change the fact that the rogue can't. You just gotta fucking control the distance. I'm not really good at it. I, like, I almost always miss my hits. But it doesn't change the fact that it's actually quite satisfying to play. Especially if you get to land those headshots. I got lucky enough to lay a couple of headshots in the bar. And unfortunately he didn't really have much. Nor do I have anything either, like, pretty much I'm using extreme budget stuff. Oh, holy hell, those heavy boots are pretty good. Alright, it's never a bad idea to practice something that you're bad at. And, um, I would say I'm quite a horrible rapier player. Um, I could name a dozen of better players with rapier, but it's still... Um, if you practice with it long enough, you can eventually get better. But even though I've heard the phrase that um, Raper is um, a very forgiving weapon, I don't think that's really the case. I think the Raper is actually a lot less forgiving um, than a dagger, for example. Because with a dagger, if you fully commit, like, and you land your heads, you're almost certain you will be able to actually fuck them chicks, you know what I mean? But with Raper... Boy, you can actually keep hitting, you know, keep hitting after hitting after hitting and end up fucking getting nowhere. Okay, well, phew. Well, good thing he was using the horseman axe. That's actually the sole reason why it felt actually quite comfortable to fight him. That's some stuff. And he got a stupid amount of syllables. We actually need those syllables. There is a little tip and trick for new players. You can simply go in, get as much syllables as soon as possible and extract in just the um, first few couple of minutes by using the elevator in the middle. It's gonna give you the maximum amount of XP. Also, it's gonna give you quite a good chunk of profit, especially if you haven't got to level 20. Alright, looks like we have a geared guy here. He would absolutely fuck me. I somehow whiffed two hits. Phew. I was not feeling well. <laughs> Sheesh. What's wild about it, brother? I'm one of the worst rogues out there. <laughs> Okay, we gotta fucking get in one piece. We have a heal shrine right here. Gotta go and use it. Bro, fighting this guy is just feels like so fucking pointless, honestly. <sighs> Not that it's pointless, it's just what am I fucking supposed to do to kill him when he is just two times more geared? High PDR, bear form. I feel like if he shot me one time, he probably would end up killing me with the bear form, but um, do need to be more or less. Careful. And I still want to fucking fight with him, then just... You know, it's like... Okay. Stupid curiosity. With a shield, bro, it's actually so easy to deal with the bear. I wonder how much damage am I doing to him with the hand crossbow. There is no way for me to tell. Ah, oh, bitch. Okay, turn the bear. Also, I do believe you get a little bit of health. Every time, um, I mean, for every second you stay in the bear form, so you do end up getting your health back, as well as stupid amount of PDR. Are you fucking serious, bro? This guy is trolling me, and I missed every single shot. Holy fuck, I'm horrible at this game. I'm bad, I'm really bad at this game, brother. Like, I, I gotta get a hand of it. Oh god. Oh, my father's not sick. Wait, he said on his father's nutsack? Bro, this sounds more sarcastic than ever, bro. Fucking just proves my point. <laughs> Holy fuck. No, no, for real, it's like... Rogue really takes a lot of um, effort and just 
you gotta you gotta be in the flow of a rope and basically you gotta like keep playing the class like holy fuck i miss bro he went right the little dodge made me fucking miss jesus christ the only bet where i would be able to get him off guard i feel like would be if i um catch him while he's in right form with the lantern but it's fucking i feel like impossible task honestly in a bear form, he just has way too much PDR, and um, still wanted to fuck with him a little. <laughs> oh god, holy fuck, Jesus Christ. Did I just almost kill myself? Oh my god. No, this guy is a true homie, I'm gonna be honest. Like, he actually could have killed me if you'd like to, but he just decided to go while I kept harassing him with the fucking crossbow. <laughs> nah, man. He could have easily killed me. Like, let's be honest here. If you jump down, he would have fucked me, like, straight up. Alright, so now I'm level 17, and um, pretty much I have all the perks needed. I played last couple of games and none of them... Wait, why the fuck did he die so fast? So pretty much I played for a couple of games and I didn't crush a single time in the process, so I ended up getting all the XP. And um, by the way, there is a glitch, non-glitch. If you crash when you extract, the game doesn't register any XP. And uh, unfortunately, this happened two times out of four games that we have played so far. There is one thing that never gets old, and that is ability to get to people unnoticed. Even though I don't have the um, a creep, I have stealth, and when you use stealth, you can actually get to people really close without them noticing. Since I use like, actually quite a bunch of um, budget gear, so pretty much like I fight um, players on more or less even ground. But um, hear me out, hear me out. There's gonna be people who's gonna say that I'm a geared rogue that farms new players in the normals. One, normals is where you can find a lot of PvP. Two, there is actually quite a decent amount of uh, geared players in normals. Three, in the high roller, we're gonna go the moment we hit level 20, okay? So yeah, calm your fucking tits and just, if you wanna find a high roller, skip to the high roller point, I'm gonna leave stamps anyway, so. Yeah, we're gonna play in the high rollers, so listen. But uh, if you wanna make money, normals is where it is. It's just gonna be a, a good flow, a good stream of uh, money. Oh, we have a rogue here. Let's go fuck with him real quick. Okay, he's gonna try to get close. Yeah, fucking, it's like I knew it. He doesn't have a uh, hide anymore, so he's not gonna have ambush, which is good for us. Let's see if we're gonna get close. Okay, I hit him three times. He died from cringe or from the rupture or from combination of both. By the way, there is one little tip. When you have the combination of a rupture plus height, the rupture does additional, I believe, five... Oh, oh holy fuck, there's another guy right there. The rupture does additional damage, simple as that. Like, and pretty much it does additional damage on each and every single hit. So the um, initial 30 damage or whatever the damage is, is going to be scaled with the physical power that you got at a start. So pretty much if you run out of the shadow and you hit with the rupture, well, you get the numbers that the rupture has. But um, if you have additional physical power that comes from the invis, from the perk ambush, um, well, you're going to do extra damage. And that's just how it works. Anyway. Holy cow, I found the bard, bro. I know way. Sheesh. Mm, bro, that guy is super geared. High PDR, high health. I believe he has like 35 to 40 PDR and 150 health. We do want to get him though. Looks like there's someone to the right. Ideally, we let them fight and then third party. Alright, look at that guy. Full scent longsword guy against a Giga. Cheesy fighter. I mean, um, fired my bed. No shot! Are you fucking serious? Hmm. Well, this guy brought in barely anything and he killed this fucking monster. Holy hell. Okay, we gotta take the cheese. With all due respect, this fighter was able to clap a super geared bard. Wow, I honestly, I honestly want to give this fighter some of the cheese back. Just due to the respect 
and um, he solo killed the Giga fucking cheesy board, and I just fucking sniped him. But yeah, I'm gonna text him after the game, and um, if he would answer me, I would give him some of the stuff. So let's see. How much I'm gonna drag out all the cheese right here really quick, make sure that we have a good little pile of good stuff. And basically, yeah, I'm gonna sell stuff later, as for now, I'm just gonna keep stockpiling more or less half decent stuff um, of um, volume. I'm not even level 20, I'm still level 19, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm already kinda, kinda excited to go into high roller. I need level 20, so I decided to actually try and go kill a bunch of mobs. Goodbye, Red. <laughs> the summoning spell didn't work. Did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw the video. It was actually kind of funny by the spot hunter. Basically, the strategy is quite simple. You turn into a rat, the yeti can attack you, and you simply drag the yeti until you come across people. It's funny. It's funny to use. I want to make a video like that as well. It's actually probably going to be fucking hilarious. Just watching fucking that video made me literally lose my shit. But uh, yeah, I mean, the counter is a fucking explosive bottle. They're just gonna send you out of existence. Alright, the very first high ruler game. We finally was able to find somebody. I was about to get ready. I even equipped the blue pots, but the guy decided not to fight. He raised his hands as a form of... Uh, Don't kill me, please. So I decided not to. And basically, we're just gonna go out on our way and try to find somebody else to kill. There is a still a fighter in the cleric, I believe, and they're gonna be a lot more interesting to fuck with. Definitely a lot more interesting than a guy who has barely nothing. And basically this was we're gonna go and aim for. Alright. Looks like we have a bard and a cleric. Both geared, both capes. A lot of range. But oh shit, though, luck rings. A couple good pieces that I could use and pretty much yeah, those are gonna be quite pricey. That's nice. Not overly expensive. Oh, this cleric is kinda juicy though. After trying to find someone for 3 minutes, I found the bard. I decided not to bother too much and try to let him out. I decided to just simply double key him. Currently, the rogue has the power to double key. There's one thing I noticed, he got slightly fucked by the rogue. And basically, I continue fucking him in the back of his back. Just in his back. With all my throwing knives. I got close, I stabbed him a couple of times, he died. That's currently how strong the rope is, and that's what you can actually do. Just make sure... Holy fuck, those mobs are strong. Make sure you don't miss your throwing knives. Looks like we have someone here. Clerk, maybe? Fight? Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Wow. Holy hell. The man eating them hits. Can't let him heal. Not an option. Alright, I think that's where he dies. Did I hit him 11 times or... Is there a slight misunderstanding? Did I hit him fucking 11 times? Alright, let me know how many times I hit him down in the comments below. Let's see what he has for now. Oh yeah, he has some physical damage reduction. Yeah, he has some stuff. Some of this is actually gonna be quite valuable. So yeah, that's not a not a bad catch, not a bad catch for sure. What the world are doing? <laughs> oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. We have a bard here. Is he gonna be ch chasing me? <laughs> Let's see if he's gonna come close. May work out. Holy hell, I should not have hit that door. That was a big L right there, straight up. I still got him though, but um, doesn't have much, but uh, he still was threat. Okay. We have a barb. Been trying to track this guy for like the past two minutes. Oh my god, I'm stuck, so bro. I don't want to talk about this. Oh 
Wow, holy fuck, did he headshot me just? Damn. Guy is kinda scary. Well, we have a shrine here. That's okay. As long as I don't get third party, I should be able to actually bleed this guy out. But he's like literally just straight up chilling there. I'm gonna try to drop him. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do enough damage. I do need to remove his... Um, his Achilles strike. Not sure what he just said. Don't fall. Okay. I missed two hits. Bruh. It's okay. I missed two hits again. Wow, bro, I'm not feeling it. Holy cow. Oh, shit, shit, shit. This mage is scary. Ow. Oh no, 75% PDR fighter. No, 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 I'm not fighting this shit. Nope. You need like five rogues to kill this guy. Maybe this guy go fuck with the um, barbarian. Sure. I don't really want to waste my time on this guy. This guy has 160 health, 75% PDR. Fucking crossbow that hits me for a stupid amount of damage. No, nah, nah, I don't want to deal with him. There's still a very good rogue in the lobby. Maybe I'd get to fuck with him. That'd be actually pretty nice. Interesting, what do we have here? Oh shit, look at this. One hit more than enough. Okay. Couple hits. He's dead. Alright, we gotta take everything before the fucking fighter starts getting on my dick. You bitch! Okay, gotta be careful here. I can't allow myself to get sniped by night crossbow shot. We're just gonna heal up and we're gonna try to take whatever I threw on the floor. Looks like he didn't notice the stuff that I threw on the floor. Let's see if he still has boots. Let's check what the guy is up to. Okay. He took the boots. Fuck, bro. He took them boots. Those boots with five moves fit. Aw, man. Hell nah. That's such. Looks like I'm not alone here. Who the fuck that is? Oh, that's my homie Barb. Okay, didn't miss. Fuck off. Right in the face, bro. Holy cow. So oh. No, what do you mean, bro? I'm not lame. What do you mean, brother? I'm not lame. Don't say that I'm lame. Come on, man. He said that I'm lame, bro. Could you imagine? Wow. I would never believe, like, that kind of disrespect. Alright, so... Right after I tried to play a little bit of duos with my homie. And, um... Fortunately, the audio got cut out and it got absolutely fucked by the bear. Two hits almost completely decapitated me. Well, pretty much I told him to stall, and uh, he told me that I should heal and back up. So this is exactly what I did. I tried to heal up as quick as possible while trying to be somewhere close where I could potentially assist him. But I wasn't really much of a help until I get healed up. One hit straight up made lose my homie all his health, and uh, he was not feeling it. I missed my first hit like usual, like some stuff never doesn't change. And almost end up getting cocked, but I did try to help my homie so that some pressure would be off of him and uh, we would let him cook. So, yeah, pretty much right after he just um, ate all them arrows and uh, throwing knives and he ended up dying. Rogue is could be useful in the duos, but it requires practice, which I don't really have much. I haven't played in Rogue in fucking months, and when you don't play on the class, you don't really tend to feel it quite as well. So yeah, they end up getting actually quite juicy and um, we end up getting pretty good W. We didn't really have much time, another geared team invaded us, so the first thing I decided to do is to rat by the door. I went in with, and basically the first thing I noticed is I got locked out by the lock. I wasn't able to land my first hit because I was too slow to run those to slow you down. I told my bard that... Um, to let him, you know, just kind of chill for a bit. 
and uh, while well, I would go and try to kill the warlock, he told me that he got this and there is nothing to worry about. I killed the warlock and um, right after I instantly run back into the fight and to be able to assist my homie. Flew from the elevator, W key, while trying to heal up. My homie said that uh, the barb got away and um, he is on him. They're like he's trying to catch up but he is too fast so well, I was like alright bet, fucking gotta keep going. Pretty much there was another team right here and that's why he decided to stop chasing and um, up until the point when we realized the bot is still there. I decided to go balls deep and fully commit to chasing that guy even though the goblin was on the way it still wasn't aggro to me so I was able to squeeze in. I passed fucking pretty much everything, I got shot in the butt, went down the hole, and then right now I'm trying to catch up to the homeboy. I noticed him that he's actually quite close, so based on how much damage um, my homie did, I felt like he was actually quite fucking dying. But then this is where I threw, got hit once. But uh, luckily I was able to kill him, probably one more decent hit would have fucking sent me out of the existence, but I was fairly lucky enough to be able to out DPS Barb. Rogue on the other hand has one of the highest burst damage weapons, which is Teleto. Basically this weapon shred does um, way too much damage in such a short amount of time. Right, so pretty much right after we tried to loot everything, we went back and cleared what the Warlock had. The Warlock was extremely geared and I'm gonna showcase what he actually had right in a moment. Right, the Warlock has an insane amount of juice. The amount of cheese he had probably would burst a couple of spells. At least a couple of spells. Just too much cheese. He got a lot of stuff with the right attributes and probably this gear set that he has would pay off for another three budget rogues builds that I'm currently running. The build that I run is just action speed with a little bit of true on rings, that's about it. Um, you will be able to buy the exact same kit that I currently have within probably um, three and a half to four thousand gold range. Alright, so pretty much with this I want to conclude the video. This is what we ended up getting. Um, pretty much we almost filled up the whole stash with a bunch of good stuff and basically with this the video is gonna come to an end. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below what you think about the current state of the rogue. I feel like the class is really good. Don't forget to subscribe, it's Demo and I hope you have a wonderful day.